Hello, my friends. Thank you for joining me. It's Gabriel Samadhi, Poet WP. Today I want to share with you some impressions I got in my meditations. Not in poetry or uh, prose, but just straight up describing it. <laughs> uh, thank you for what it's worth. You hear the hawks outside crowing. There's a family of uh, chicken hawks live in my backyard. They're my power animals. Some of them, anyway. Some of the power animals. They want one, one of them. Anyway, I'm rambling. Um, they're really crying out today. You can hear them. Anyway, um, today in my meditation, I got a very strong impression. Very, very strong. Meditating on the energy of the world. Uh, I got the impression of a totem. A column. Of unstoppable energy. Like God's ultimate freight train. Kind of thing. Um, there was like an image of a totem. Rising up through the soul of earth. And on this totem, it was revolving. And on this big totem, where all the faces, it was revolving on, on, and on eight, every side of this cylind cylindrical column totem energy bar deal, rising up out of the soul of earth, where all the faces... Of all the innocent people that were killed by uh, uh, wickedness, evil people, darkness. You know, I mean, you know, I, it would, it would, I would, I'll just, I'll speak for America because I'm an American. And this goes for all the people, all the, and this, this is for governments. This is the judgment. And this is my opinion. Of course, you know, time is not linear and. You know, this could be some shit that happens further in the future. It may not be happening, like, this year or something. Who knows? But the energy is real strong in my meditation now. I know that. Uh, the faces were of each soul, each innocent life that was snuffed out for some bullshit cause, usually in the name of God. Well, the God you were killing for was the God of hell. God doesn't want you, the God of heaven does not want us to kill anybody. Because you're only killing yourself when you kill someone else. Because we're all one consciousness appearing to itself subjectively. There's no such thing as death. Life is only a dream and we're imagination of ourselves. Here's Tom with the weather. <laughs> like the sound tool. That's Bill Hicks. Um, these faces were being brought forth by all the archangels of heaven. They're all in the game now. They're all. They brought all the energies through in this totem, a column of all the victims of all the dark shit. All the people that have been killed in the name of God by evil pieces of shit. And for America, it's the Native Americans, it's the African Americans... It's all the people we've killed and uh, all the bullshit wars. Every war since World War II was not a war of necessity. And even World War II is questionable in the eyes of many. But I'm not here to debate that right now. There's a, both sides of that World War II debate. I, I don't know where I, 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 I can fall on either side. I, anyway, I'm not here to talk about that. But every war after that that America's been in has been a war of choice just to make fucking money. Period. End of story. The devil's work. That's how I see it. It's all for, it was all bullshit. Korea, Vietnam, the uh, Desert Storm, Iraq, Afghanistan, all of it was just so they can expand the empire and bill out all those fucking ammunition and all that shit so they can make a fuck ton of money. On death. Killing people. They don't give a fuck about why. 
The point of the war, those, the point of Vietnam and the point of the wars in the Middle East right now are not to win. They're to keep them going as long as possible. That's the only objective of, uh, that was the only objective of Vietnam. That's the only objective of the shit they're doing in the Middle East, all of it. Keep it going as long.